Hey everybody, Mandis Buckle here alongside Sarah Lyon. Welcome to Prime Time. We're in Norfolk, Virginia for the Linda Murray Pro. Did not disappoint. Men's physique. Um, we had a deep lineup. It was about 17, 18 guys. Dry, 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 I yes. think was the theme of the day. Absolutely, absolutely. When you saw Maurice Breton, Greg Brandt, and uh, Yusuf Hassan, they were the three that were called off after the first call out. And you could tell the difference between them and the rest of the first call out was definitely their dryness there. Yeah. You had uh, Mike Lee and Kali Cordy uh, round out the top five. But I would I would agree that the, the slight edge and difference there was it fullness or size uh, today? Right. It was that dry, dry, crisp look. Absolutely. Uh, that's what they were looking for, and that's what they got. So it'll be interesting to see tonight who ends up uh, in a winner circle. Yeah, absolutely. And, and seeing them, uh, hopefully they bring out that top three again so we can give it another second look at, yeah. at what they look like, um, see what they did in between now, pre-judging and finals, see if anything changes there. You know, that is one of the looks that, that could be interesting because if they do decide to take a second look tonight, fourth or fifth, tend to dry out when you fill out a little more. Is that going to be enough to maybe jump a spot or two? Will somebody get a little watery? Will right. somebody spill over? So right. And will they give them that opportunity? <laughs> yes, yes. You never, you never Gotta know. Got to have that opportunity. Absolutely. Bikini, what did you see? Bikini, absolutely. The, the first call out, um, great lineup. Everyone had really full glutes. Um, you know, the biggest difference what I saw even from the first call out to the second call out was uh, their balance. You know, back to the basics again. You know, their balance from top to bottom um, and their polished. You know, their hair, their makeup, their tan. Everyone in the first call out looked very polished. Um, we had Ellie Fernandez and, and Ashley Janelle. It looks like they're going to be the top two um, battling. I would have to say that Ellie definitely has Ashley just a hair tighter in the back um, in the glutes, but I would say from the front, Ashley kind of takes it. You know, she really demands the stage when she's up there. Oh, I, I was surprised. I saw a little more separation in her quads that I've ever seen before. It was slightly distracting to me because I've never seen that from her. Mm -hmm. She was still good enough to probably take away the win, but I'd like to see her maybe a little fuller in the leg so I don't see quite as sure. much separation right. in a deeper lineup. And, um, you know, I think when she does fill out a little bit more, like you're saying, that will make her tighter from the back, which will, you know, put her in, right. in front of Ellie in, in all places. Um, I, someone that was in the top five that I think still needs to be more polished, uh, Jasmine Adams. I think that's how good this girl's going to be. I believe this is her rookie season. Um, or touching up on a few things, uh, maybe a little oil, um, being a little fuller, a little tighter in the mm -hmm. core. There is definitely a few small things that she needs to touch up on. And she stills in the first call outs and one of the top four called up. Yeah, great shape. If she nails everything, this is someone who will be winning shows, if not the end of this year, all of next year. Um, and you know Morgan Barnes as well. I think I love Morgan's look. Um, she's super long and lean. Um, I would like to see her. She poses with her toes straight on, and you know the difference with posing with your toes straight on. It just doesn't allow those lateral glutes to show that much. Mm -hmm. So it almost takes away from the shape. Makes her look even more linear. I'd like to see her pose with her toes out. You know, it doesn't look like she has too big of quads that she's trying to hide anything. So I think that could. That could change the way that you know she looks in her back pose. And, and and one other person that was in first call outs that I'd like to mention, number fifty, Veronica. From the back, I thought she won the show. Mm -hmm. um, because she's a shorter athlete, I think she needs to adjust her front pose. When she's standing next to taller athletes, mm -hmm. she kind of disappears. Yeah. The suit color. Suit color, I would like to see different. I'd like to see it different. Right. There's just not enough of a contrast with her skin and her hair um, to make it pop. And then on top of it, her tan was very light today. Right. And that was, you know, that's always upsetting to see when someone does look so great and it's the littlest thing of their tan. You know, she came lights out at Chicago too. Yeah. And she was <laughs> right. in the first call out right. there. So, um, you know, I, I would definitely like to see a suit color change, darker tan, um, maybe even a little bit of a different hairstyle too. The, the straight's always a little harsh. Uh, you know, the, we're talking about two people that ended up in first call outs. If they nail all the little details, mm -hmm. are we talking about first and second here maybe this weekend? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I really believe so. Oh, and with bikini, I mean. <laughs> it's anyone's show. Splitting different hair, day. Right, hairs. exactly.
Guys, we'll be back from a commercial break right after this. Thank you for having me. It's an Thank honor you. to be here. We all have a story. We all have pain. We all have things in life that's going to be taken away from us without our control. But I just didn't give up. That no matter what, I was going to end up finishing the race that I started. Hey everybody, Amanda Spuckle alongside Sarah Lyon. We are here in Norfolk, Virginia. Welcome back to prime time. We are going to wrap up women's bodybuilding. Sarah, women's bodybuilding is really a, a, a whole different animal when it comes mm -hmm. to competing. It, it's very unique from what you we usually see. Um, lineups are deep. Mm -hmm. um, you go anywhere from young, up and coming, could be superstars, yep. to veterans who have been competing for a long, long time. Yep. And that's what we saw here this weekend. Obviously, the judges had their work cut out because they had eight. They put out eight in the eight. first call-up because there's such a contrast. Mm -hmm. um, what did you see? You know, it, it, with the the eight shocked me. First call out, eight shocked me. Um, but, you know, it kind of it narrowed itself down as they kept posing. Right. Then all right. of a sudden you were just focusing on, you know, that middle three, four. Um, you know, I think Jacqueline Fuchs, she was just at the Chicago Pro as well. She looked great. Her, she nailed she, it. Her shape is, is incredible. You know, she did hit that lat, back lat spread, and, you know, her waist just becomes so small. Mm -hmm. um, and I love love her look too. You know, she keeps the femininity with involved yeah. in it. You know, I really also liked Kim Buck in the first call out too. Yeah. Um, but she looked great from the front, needs to be tighter in the back. Yeah. The hands and glutes, you know, right. moved her out a little bit farther to the right. side. You know, we talk about eight in the first call outs and usually we don't see that. But again, it was such a contrast and Gary works these girls, mm. which is what we're supposed to do right. in, in a division like this. You have to earn that place. And there were a few people that were in the middle four when he started, ended up all the right. way on the outside. They right. worked their way to the outside, right. and some of the others worked their right. way to the inside. Pose yourself out of the middle. Absolutely. Bonnie Switzer uh, looked looked fantastic. Mm -hmm. Tara Silver uh, battled and battled and battled. So it was nice to see pose after right. pose after pose. A few of these athletes came on. A few of them need to really work on their posing. Yes. Um, Structure-wise, it's uh, all there. We're sitting in a good spot. Mm -hmm. Pose their way out of the middle again. You've got a contrast from really new, young, up-and-coming athletes mm -hmm. to the veterans, right? And it seemed like the veterans ended yeah. up somewhere in the right. middle there. Didn't exactly, they? exactly. You know, and I really, I liked the fact that there were girls that were super dry, but yeah. it's not just about dryness, right? You know, you need to have the rest of the package. You need to, you know, have that shape. You need to hit your poses, you know, decent. You know, and it, it's not just about how grainy you are as right. it is for more of a, a men's bodybuilding perspective. Oh, because there was somebody here who, I mean, she was dry and hard as could be mm -hmm. and was in a second call yep, out. Yep, exactly, you know, exactly. So you got to have that balance in this division. Yep. It'll be very interesting tonight. It, it looks like Jacqueline is going to walk away, but mm -hmm. again, you don't know. Um, be very interesting tonight. If so, stamps your ticket to the World Championship, the yep. Rising Phoenix. How exciting. Yeah, can't wait. That uh, is going to be another unbelievable show. Yes, yes. Unbelievable. Last year it was lights out, and here we are again. It's going to be, I think, even a tougher lineup now. Yeah, and there's only one other show after this to qualify for. Tampa. I, I believe Tampa, and, and, and there we have it. Yep. So these girls are going to be coming back, making some adjustments, and if things change for tonight, we'll see what happens. There's a lot on the line. Well, guys. That's going to wrap up for pre-judging again alongside my co-host Sarah Lyon. I'm Amanda Spuckle for another episode of Primetime. We'll keep trying to do better. Until next time, we'll see you tonight.